Hello and welcome everyone. My name is Ahmed El Yamani, Product Evangelist in Sitecore, and I'll be your host in this episode of Discover Sitecore. We'll be talking today about Sitecore CDP packages and how each of these packages is designed to solve a specific marketing challenge. Through this video, we will have a quick introduction for today's challenges, both in web technology, marketing, and customer expectations, and how Sitecore solutions address these challenges. Then we will go over each of Sitecore CDP package's highlights. We will also give a quick overview of the possible scenarios to integrate with Sitecore Personalize, whether or not you have an external CDP. Firstly, let's look at the market fast changes and the challenges taking place in both marketing and customers' behaviors patterns, and see how technology is moving quickly to support these challenges. By looking at customers and brand daily intercommunications, a gap can be noticed. Organizations are struggling reaching their target customers on the right channels before their competitors. While customers are humans who are overwhelmed with massive amounts of available but irrelevant digital brand communications. Add to this the raised expectations because of technology expansions and the wide use of machine learning, personalized and localized experience applications and added to this the COVID-19 impact that accelerated the switch to digital-only engagements, which was previously supposed to show in 2030. As a result, and it goes without saying, the expectations of consumers is incredibly high. So how do marketing professionals deliver this experience to the customer and how they match their expectations before and how they are planning to, to match these expectations tomorrow? To answer this, we need a quick hindsight look to understand today and the future. So let's look a few decades back, when marketing depended mainly on pushing the mass-produced products on clients through different channels such as TV ads. Then with 90s, relationship with brands started moving much faster by adopting CRM systems, for example, which was followed by the multi-channel boom and the cross-channel marketing with wider adoption of mobile devices, IoT, kiosks, and increasing touch points with customers. This brings us to today, where the only way to deliver an effective positive impression experience is by driving a one-to-one -one conversation between the brand and the client. Luckily, the technology is progressing, progressing in a speed that matches these advancements and may be faster actually. Experts believe that advancements like Web3 will enable truly one-to-one -one conversations between client and brands. The technology has been responding to the market demands and utilizing everyday accelerating innovations. Web3 will make it normal and available for smaller startups and many micro-organizations to grow on the market and provide third-party solutions dedicated to solve specific problems. This can be through machine learning, artificial intelligence, providing infrastructure as a service, providing high security, performant applications, and many other technologies. To summarize, there is an increasing pressure to provide one-to-one -one human experience that goes beyond communication channels and provide real value to the clients, and to gain customers' trust, which will automatically create not only revenue, but creating raving fans for your brand. Today, technology can support delivering these qualities, actually. If web technology applications can efficiently utilize artificial intelligence and machine learning techniques, with decentralized architecture able to integrate with growing numbers of technologies and third parties, and with performance on the edge, closer to the customer, that gives the clients a real-time experience that they need. How about Sitecore? How does it respond to the market move? And how Sitecore CTP fits within Sitecore's solution? Sitecore understand this phase shift and decided to revolutionize its platform by adopting a composable digital experience strategy. Composable DXP in short. Composable DXP offers a set of tools that each excels in solving a specific marketing challenge. These tools are smart, agile, EPI, software as a service first, and ready to be plugged into a client's technology stack and across customers to brand touchpoint journey. One of the main capability pillars of Sitecore Composable DXP 
is the experience pillar and specifically the customer data platform, CDP. The CDP product family. CDP's core value is understanding a 360 view of customers, understanding their interactions, and able to optimize their journey. This is through a first party cookie, software as a service, scalable and flexible to plug into a solution. Sitecore CDB family includes three packages. Based on client needs, once you acquire a Sitecore CDB license, your Sitecore representative will configure your subscription mode to be one of the following two ones Sitecore CDB only or Sitecore personalized or bringing them together. Sitecore Smart Hub CDP. You might be asking, what about Smart Hub CDP? What is the need for a new name if we have a CDP and personalized already? Let's talk technology definitions for a second. According to Gartner, a CDP is a system that provides the right computing power, processing flexible data models, and integrations to solve marketing professionals' cross channel marketing challenges. On the other hand, Content strategists need to continuously test content updates against customer segments to optimize user experience and increase conversion rates, personalize, orchestrate, and manage the experience delivery, run decision models and A-B testing, and the able of directly run experience on your web or mobile channels. Smart Hub CDB combines both to power one-to-one -one personalization at scale. Besides typical CDB functionalities, it supports sending messages or rendering content to the end user. To summarize, Smart Hub CDB provides a normal CDB with a last mile experience delivery over end user touch points, such as email, web, mobile, programmatic, or other channels. Let's have a quick look on what to expect from each of these packages. Starting from platform front end interface, the UI, Features are placed to match either content strategist or marketing professional needs, and the use case is targeted by each application. CDP focuses on the use cases requiring management and optimization of customers' data and behavior against a brand. On the other hand, Personalized focuses more on experience optimization, requirements such as web experience personalization and decisioning. Finally, Sitecore Smart Hub CDB combines both applications features to address advanced enterprise use cases, such as enabling multi-channel personalization, segmentation, and analytics over large amount of past users' experience data, in addition to future transactions and behaviors. Let's start putting some focus on each of these products and the main powers gained from each of Sitecore CDP packages. Let's start by Sitecore CDP. Sitecore CDP enables enterprise-level integration with other digital experience pillars such as marketing automation, content, and commerce systems. It utilizes the data lake capabilities and large data sets integration APIs to empower reporting sets, segmentation, and profiling, and support batch scenarios such as exporting audience and segments. CDP provides a list of out-of-the-box analytics and dashboards. This list of reports is planned to grow continuously to cover users developing analytics and reports requirements. Dashboards are powered with a data layer named Sitecore CDB Data Lake, CDBDL for short. Width of ad hoc reports and custom dashboards can be built using consuming data from Sitecore CDBDL. Just a few examples are displayed here. To access Sitecore CDB Data Lake export, a Sitecore technical team member must first enable the export services for your organization's Sitecore CDB tenant. Sitecore CDB enables you to transfer all your organization's data from Amazon Simple Storage, Simple Storage service which is Amazon S3, to another Amazon S3 bucket or to your organization's own premises using your own preferred method. After the data is transferred, a data scientist or a business analyst or any other users with permissions can access the exported data. The exported files are of the parquet file type, which can be easily loaded into databases and analytics models. Full documentation on this process can be found on Sitecore documentation site, doc.sitecore.com. Let's then look at Sitecore Personalize. Personalize activates your data across all customers' touchpoints. 
to orchestrate and manage seamless and consistent customer experience. For example, you can use Sitecore personalized real-time decisioning and experimentation to power web and interactive experiments and the experiences. Typically, dashboards that are powered by CDBDL are not available within Sitecore Personalize. They are dedicated to Sitecore CDB packages. However, personalized related dashboards such as experience performance and A-B testing results are still available within Personalize. Before moving forward, there is a component that ships with Sitecore that I should highlight. Personalize-only product utilizes a thin layer of Sitecore CDB responsible for real-time customer data. It's named Audience Stream. This enables Personalize to execute operations with respect to customers' details. It doesn't, however, include full CDB engine capabilities such as batch import or export, or full segmentation, or data lake capabilities, or even reporting. Audience Stream enables personalized users to retain customers' data for certain periods. For example, Personalize allow access to the guest context data only for limited sessions, customers' orders, and time limits. The following package is for the site called Smart Hub CDB. As mentioned earlier, Smart Hub CDB basically combines both standalone CDB and Smart Hub packages to fuel omni-channel personalization with customers' insights and deliver one-to-one -one customer experience. In addition to personalized capabilities, Smart Hub CDB utilizes the CDB features such as profiling, audience, and segmenting. In other words, Smart Hub CDB adds the enterprise key factors to the personalized product. For example, a large enterprise organization might have a 360 database and lots of offline transactions. This might be offline orders, returns, or other customers' data, and need to be included in Sitecore personalization product. They then can use Smart Hub CDB for an enterprise-wide level of segmentation, analytics, and personalization. Finally, and before closing out, I'd like to cover a point that frequently asked about. In order to inject behavior and to be able to track customer transactions among personalized touchpoints, the following section highlights three possible integration scenarios with Sitecore Personalize. These scenarios are Approach 1, that ships with no external CDB data required. Approach 2, which utilizes external CDB for additional customer data into decisioning. And Approach 3, which call external CDB for connections in the decision canvas within Sitecore Personalize. This is not an exhaustive list and other scenarios might be applicable. So let's look at these approaches. Start with approach one, the no external CDB data required approach. Within this approach, behavior or transactional data is captured from a web application and sent into the personalization stream API. It then gets persisted within the real-time stream CDB engine, the audience engine. Then, interactive or triggered personalization capabilities are identical to the ones available with Smart Hub CDB, except that users are limited to working with data captured by the Stream API, of course. And then the data would be available for optional external data services integrations such as, such as pricing, inventory, credit score, or machine learning models. Few notes to be highlighted here. This is a tried and tested integration. No addition latency worries within it. And it's ideal for less complicated challenges, which requires personalization and A-B testing on a small set of channels. To highlight also, it's a limited approach to real-time data streaming and external services for personalization purposes, meaning that there will be no personalization nor decisioning based on master data or legacy customer transactions. Approach two. This is the headless decision approach. The external CDB within this approach, or the customer store, exposes the relevant data points to the website to make available of customer data. When a personalization request is made to personalize API, additional key value pairs from the data layer are passed as additional parameters, such as persona or segment labor or customer value, generate customer details and information. The decision canvas can then utilize these data points as part of its next best offer calculation. Also few points to mention here. This approach relies on external CDP or customer store being able to expose relevant data points to the website. Secondly, 
the ability to add two additional parameters within personalization request is available for full stack interactive experience only and not site core personalized web experience. In the case of web experience, a custom event could be sent to the home page to tie this additional data to a profile. Check documentation for custom event details and any limitations that might apply to your case. Finally, the integration can be done as the external CDB or customer store exposes their master ID to the website data layer. Identity can be sent to site core audience stream using the identity event or the personalization request. The external CDB exposes customer attributes via the APIs. A once-off connection to the API is configured within the personalize and is made available for section in the decision canvas. When a personalization request is made, additional data such as persona, segment labels, and or other customer attributes are pulled from the CDP API, the data points, and leveraged within the canvas to help determine the next best action. The points to take note of here are Although a more complex integration, it does not rely on CDP exposing lots of data points to the data layer of the website, only the ID. Additional latencies are involved into the decision in Canvas due to the external API integration. This may not have any material impact on the overall performance though, especially for triggered pushes to the downstream channel. This brings us to the wrap-up and the conclusion. I wish you had a good idea on how Sitecore CDP packages are positioned and what problems they are solving. You should also have some knowledge now on the differences among Sitecore CDP, Personalize, and Smart Hub CDP. We have covered a high level on what can be done with each of these business features. We also discussed quickly the philosophy behind Smart Hub CDP and how it fits within the customer organization's process. We've also dedicated a section to discuss the integration methodologies through some scenarios with Sitecore Personalize. Thank you for watching Discover Sidecore and see you next time.